Hello everyone and welcome back to Tam's Classy Creations, the channel where we break down projects so even a beginner can do them. Before getting started, I just want to thank everyone for watching the video. If you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I hope everyone's having a blessed day. All right, let's get into the video. I'm going to be doing some major repairs on these coveralls for a customer of mine. These are how the coveralls came to me. Now they have frayed out, all the seams are gone, they're ripped, the canvas is. Uh, also, before I um, could even see what to do, these seams were out. It was all the way out down by the zipper. So before starting, I did just uh, put the seams back. Now, since this is frayed and there's not even enough material, we have to add something. So I'm gonna show you what I made to add in here. Now I took a piece of material that was about three inches wide to maybe four. I wanted to secure this and not have any raw edges in the material I was gonna tuck in. Now I did the original that I'm gonna use in black, but I took some heat and bond and I ironed it on um, the fabric and as you see in this sample then what I did I pulled this liner off after it's uh, after it's ironed on then I folded the edges over and I ironed them so the heat and bond would stick that to it now this is just a black Kona but it gives it more body and there's no raw edges I've turned this one and this one I will turn once I get it into the fabric now here's the side that I have completed and I stitched this on and then I went and zigzagged it so there was no problem with this ever coming out and here's the underside of what I did so what I do is I start with the side that has the finish so I tuck it in all that fray I tuck it in now I will pin it I'll make sure this comes up well over the the fray and then I'll pin all of this down there is a little hole here I'll extra stitch that I go all the way to the side now I will cut some of this length off here but as you see and I'll make it fold it over after cutting some off and have it end here so I will be stitching this line and this line onto the pants and I have the zipper I have it all opened so it will lay flat we're going to stitch down this line and then I'll come back and stitch this line Now I am going to zigzag both of these seams I just did. I'm going to make it a pretty wide stitch. I'm going to, I'm going to do uh, a 5 for the width, 1.3 for the length. Now I'm just going to zigzag both of the edges just for more security. Now for the final repair I want to fix some of this fraying. So um, what I do is I make denim patches. So I take some denim and this is dark black denim and I iron heat and bond ultra on it or anything that's extra hold and I make a patch so I have cut some of this now I'll be removing the backing and then I will be cutting pieces 
to go here. And in the front, I'll be zigzagging that all on to give that stability. Now this one would be on the front, but I'll just place this on this side of it and I will zigzag that on and they'll be, they'll be great after that. Okay, here's the final look at how it, how it turned out. Now, here's that final thing I did, the zigzagging of the patches. This patch I put on top. Doesn't look as good, but here's the ones I was able to put underneath and here's the zigzagging on it. Doesn't look too bad. I may add just a little bit of fray check, but otherwise, compared to what I got, I think they'll hold up for quite a while. Now here's where I put the patch underneath and I just zigzagged it. Here's another spot where the patch is underneath and here I zigzagged it. And then this patch had to be on the outside of the material. And I think that finished it off. I may add just a little bit of fray check in there, but otherwise they turned out really good. Uh, I think they'll be happy with them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to give you an idea how some of these sewing repairs are done. Well, that's all I have for today. Leave any questions in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.